Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Net Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the beautiful Fest Parker Resort on the coast of Santa Barbara. It's a wonderful day out here, and growers, holders, and shellers gathered here at the resort for the annual Almond Alliance Convention. They got to listen to a great lineup of industry speakers. One, uh, Karen Lapsley from the Almond Board of California, who talked about alternative uses for almond biomass, one of which has a great potential known as biochar. Here's Karen to discuss more about that. We're very excited about the prospects um, for biochar to be produced from almond biomass. We know we have significant woody material as well as the shells in particular. Hence the possibility to be able to produce this biochar or charcoal-like product that has great water holding capacity and so we see the possibilities related to soil amendment, improving the water holding capacity of soils and uh, so this is a research area that um, the Almond Board and the Biomass Task Force that has been created are interested in uh, developing further and this is also an area that it's similar technology between the ag and the forestry sectors so is this something else that we might see in the future investment of facilities that are actually producing biochar in the Central Valley to diversify uh, the, the revenue streams for hullers and shellers in the almond industry and possibly for folks um, from the forestry sector as well. In terms of biochar generally, there are sources that are available now that generally have been produced from forestry streams and then from coconut shells, for example. There is a commercial product being marketed in California right now. So, from our perspective, we're uh, having almond biochar produced as, as we speak from almond shells. We'll be able to evaluate the quality of, uh, of it in the coming months. That'll only be at a research scale, but at least then we'll know the quality of the uh, almond biochar and what its potential applications might be. There are researchers both at UC Davis and at USDA that are interested in looking at um, use of this material, particularly uh, as a soil amendment and to increase uh, soil health. Thank you, Karen. We really appreciate the partnership between the Almond Alliance and the Almond Board of California that makes this ongoing research possible. We look forward to what the future brings for almond biomass. Learn more about it in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.